Alright, hello everyone, my name is Enzo Dan, and welcome back to European Results 4. We are playing the Rights of Man expansion as Burgundy. And we are in the middle of a war against France, and we are actually doing quite well. It seems that France has been beaten up in the last episode, pretty good. And we are moving into Lorraine here to see if we can fully seize them. And we also want to try and get some stuff from Switzerland. <coughs> Excuse me, so... We'll probably have to sort of divide our troops. Um, let's see. First off, how many manpower, how much manpower France still has? Can we see them here? Actually, no. Let's see. France. Uh, 13k currently. Uh, 45 still in the bank. 45k. So they can sort of muster up quite a nice stack. Uh, we've got Florence down here. Nothing to worry about there. Um... And of course, this is Flanders, so this is ours. So actually, I think, let's see, 22k, 13k against a massive majority of 104k. Of course, some of it is Spanish troops. Uh, I'm not sure where. Ah, they are right here. Yeah, they're seizing some stuff of their own. And actually moving into Florence already as well. So this is looking quite good for us. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's keep it going. I think we'll start seizing this. Probably just use these troops to uh, move into Switzerland and do some sieging there as well. Just to get them out of the war. See if we can get something from them. Because, as always, it's probably going to be a right, a, the right deci decision to take some stuff from uh, HRE countries while we can. Even though our main goal, of course, is France. We might actually want to take the, uh, the final coastline province, by the way, that we have here. That France has. So that they can't colonize and get away from us. Right now it seems that there isn't a lot of colonizing going on except here. Uh, by Great Britain. And Brittany actually is becoming quite... Uh, well, I don't want to say powerful, but they are actually present there. And of course, the Caraiben. Caraibas. Caribas. Caribas. Have been populated by Portugal. So that's nice for them. Actually, very nice. Very nicely done. And this is actually not a European country. Okay. So, yeah. Let's uh, keep it going. Let's see what's going to happen. I guess we probably might have gone after this stack, but probably they are going to uh, merge up with this stack or do something like that where we can't follow them. Uh, because of a fort and I like the thing that Austria is gonna take care of it anyway So yeah, that's gonna be fine. Uh, let's actually speed this up. This is actually gonna be a very easy siege So let's move over our troops over there We are being attrition, but we do have a lot of manpower in the bank almost full and there we go Austria beating up France e Yes, they are okay. Very good And this stack as well Austria is doing very very nice work here for us um, I think what we'll do is actually merge and detach the siege and then go after some smaller stacks here, see if we can swipe them up, uh, just to get rid of their manpower. This is good. Okay. Okay, yes. Because this is, of course, the uh, manpower being converted into troops here. So if they remain tiny stacks, then it's going to be easy for us to uh, actually defeat them. Mm. Okay, so Lorraine is here. It might be coming towards us, but they are fleeing. So very curious to see where they will be going. Let's actually move over there and see if we can catch them. Yes, we can. Okay, so Florence, I think, is moving towards Switzerland. So let's see what we can do to uh, intercept them. Okay, we occupied that. That's good. And we will probably move over there. Mm, well, I don't think there's much they can do, actually. Austria reinforcing Luca coming in there. Which might become one of our next targets, actually, in the war. Just to get them out of it. Okay, so a lot of reinforcements here from France. Still want to see if we can somehow catch them. 
let's try and uh... yes that was I think uh, a troop that spawned actually we might be able to get here on time I don't think so actually no that's not gonna work we might be inter uh, be able to intercept something here which we will but this has grown to quite a big stack so I think what we'll do is uh, just stop the movement for now get out of there I'm not sure if we can no we can't okay so hopefully someone will start and help us out there mm. if not it's it's fine actually this is Louis himself nice yeah okay so that was reinforced um, yeah we lost that badly it's king against king as well, isn't it? No, not really. Actually, yes. Joshua's in there. Austria. No, too late, too late. Okay. So these guys will flee, but it's sort of fine. It's a bit of a shame, but oh well. Uh, what is the war goal, by the way? Paris. Okay, so we'll take that at some point. Actually, Brittany is taking it for us. Uh, at least I hope they will flip it to us. I think they will, because probably we do have the uh, that set as uh, some kind of interest thing to us right that makes sense yeah vital interest I, I think that will probably make Brittany flip it towards us it's gonna be f actually we've got a stack here oh dear completely missed that so let's move in into the fray here how many troops do they have right now 26 K okay let's just let them fight it out down there while we uh, just get some provinces here. Flanders has helped us there. Very good. Okay, so this is uh, quite a big stack by of um, Switzerland. And Luca is in there as well, as is France. So probably don't want to move in there right now. Can we maybe intercept this tiny stack? Yes, we can. Let's make sure that we aren't actually intercepted ourselves. Ah, okay, so this is going to be a good fight. 30k Austria, uh, 35k total. I think we might be able to help here. Although 6k, ugh. Castile's coming in. It's not going to be pretty, I think. Uh, we might have to take it, though. Although Austria is actually attacking, so I'm quite curious to see how this will go. Let's move in here and see what's going to happen. Mm. We actually don't have a penalty here, although... No, okay, that's not actually a battle stone. Let's just give it a go, shall we? Let's intercept a stack here. Actually, probably that means that we are too late now. Nope, we're on time. Okay, yeah, I think we're winning this now. France leaving. Very nice, that was a big battle, actually. Okay, very good. So where should they be fleeing now? In particular, France, where are you going? Let's try and follow them. Ah, okay, down there. Probably towards Luca or something. Uh, no, that's not going to work very well. So, okay, let's let's just regroup and see what we can do from there. Meanwhile, our sieges are doing very well. Where is Castile right now? Actually, they left. Uh, they're here and there. Okay, yeah. So hopefully they, they move in on the, uh, the stack there. Split these guys up. Stop the attrition. Actually, Austria is already leaving this. Okay. Okay, so Spain... Ah! Spain has that province now. That is a shame. The last coastal province. Probably because that's part of what they need from this war. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, still Paris is not in our possession. Let's see. Maybe we should... Give France the chance to get this back. Um, there's no Ford here, so it should be rather easy, actually. 
Uh, but actually, they are moving past it. Okay. In that case, let's just do an interception. Actually, we got something there. We can't move there. That's annoying. Let's just move some uh, troops around, see if we can catch some dudes spawning. Oh! Missed that. Okay. But I think we should be able to take it. Although Lorraine is coming in. We can't get a leader, though. Whoops. That was my phone. Let me turn it off very quickly. There we go. Okay, so is there any way for us to defend this? Actually... That's 3k. Let's actually do it the other way around and um, get the 10k there to reinforce. Can we get a leader? We might in, in there. Okay, probably not gonna be on time. We are in the mountains though. A revolt? No, missed that. Hmm, all right, we'll probably just get there. You guys as well. This is a shame that we will probably lose this. Ah, right on time actually. Uh, we've got the League stuff going on now. Okay, we won that, but we will probably lose this. And now France has joined in as well. And Austria's coming in too? Jeez. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can get some overview back here. I really want to get this province done. That should be doable, right? Hmm... But we're probably losing this. Who's France fighting against, though? Is that the same battle? No, France still leaving. Ah, okay. So this is us. Right. So we might be able to take this. Although, somehow, we have a uh, penalty here. Even though it's ours, it's in the mountains. That's the maneuver penalty, I think. Well, not. Hmm. Well, then I don't know. Austria, help us. We need you. Quickly, come on. Yes, we got that. Did we? We did. That's very nice, actually. Because of Austria. Gotta admit. Okay, move in there. You guys move in there in preparation for the um, squashing of the rebellion. I don't want a peace with Switzerland just yet. Although I must admit, probably could have done some stuff better than we did. I think we should be fine. Damnation! Okay, so where are these dudes? They are fleeing. France is coming back in, probably. Uh, someone died. Let's get a new dude. Uh, stability cost, national tax modifier. Probably that is gonna be fine. Okay, Grabuden. Okay, so fully sieged. Very good. Let's move to Zeeland. Uh, and probably see, uh, peace out Switzerland right now. Can we not? Yes, we can. Oh, that's strange. No, come on. Sue for peace. Okay, so let's see. They are merely negotiating for themselves. Um, we have zero gross expansion, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken, okay. Uh, overextension, 13%. We could fully siege them. It's gonna be 91. Gonna cost us 29% um, overextension. And that grass expansion, 58 actually. With some minor countries, I wouldn't really mind that. Uh, another option would be Burgundian Vassal. 38 oh, uh, grass expansion, but no overextension, of course, yes. That might actually be good. Although 38 is pretty hefty, and it is with a lot of countries, 111. So that would probably mean that we wouldn't be able to take a whole lot of stuff uh, from, uh, from France. But having Switzerland as a vassal... Uh, although they are part of the, um, of the HRE, so it might be difficult to annex them, actually. So what if we take, I don't know, two provinces? 
44 grass expansion. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Just the one? 26? Eh. Such a shame. I would really like to have Switzerland as a vassal, though. Let's, I think we'll do that. Um, I'm not sure if we can integrate them at some point. But even if we can't, I like the fact that we would have them as, an, uh, as a vassal. And I think we might be able to integrate them. It probably depends on when we integrate Flanders and such. Uh, but the fact that they are part of the HRE doesn't, doesn't really help. But oh well. Um, let's do something like this. Actually, we can't. There we go. 38 aggressive expansion is pretty hefty, but... Uh, we are, of course, losing aggress expansion over the course of the war, as the war goes on. So, we might actually, by the time that we need some stuff from France, be able to take that. Right now, we are actually using the war against France uh, as a way to get stuff from other nations that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to uh, attack. And I like that strategy. Uh, but the result is that we get rid of France less quickly than we might want to. But it's fine, France is not really in the way. It's the only thing that they are stopping us from doing is uh, forming the, Le the Netherlands. So, eh, oh well. I guess it can wait. It's gonna be fine. So, Switzerland as a vassal, we get all their money. Uh, we've got some inflation. Burgundy suffers 15.5 aggressive expansion relations penalty. Is that... I think that's what, what is causing this high number, because... They aren't actually the war goal here. And that's fair enough. Uh, but still, I think we should do it. So, there we go. Um, yeah. So now uh, they are our vassals. They are moving up there. As are these guys. These, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if we will be able to take something from Lorraine. Be just because um, uh, of the Ukraine expansion. So let's see what it is right now. 15 only for France. 23, of course, 38 is with Switzerland itself, that's fine. Actually, it's, it is not that bad. M Milan minus 15, Austria minus 18, uh, Ravensburg minus 35. Okay, so there's some minor nations here who didn't really like what I just did. Yeah, but that's fair enough, we can live with that. I'd rather have those tiny nations in the, uh, in, uh, the war, in a coalition against us than any large nation, of course. So that's going to be fine. Um, yeah. I think that's a successful deal. And by the way, look at this. Uh, it seems Castile or Spain has lost their siege here. So what we'll do is probably split you up and move one part over there and the other can keep moving north. Yeah. In preparation for that fight against the, uh, the dudes. Uh, okay, hostile territory. That's probably him. Grand Captain has died. Fort Defense, Discipline, National Manpower. Let's go with Discipline. It's always nice in a war. Uh, you, I think, will lose your leader. And you will gain it. So that you have him for the fight. Against the rebels. Why rebel while we are in a war? It's a lame strategy. We should stick together, you guys. Come on. Okay, move in. And uh, you had the leader, right? Actually, you... Oh, no. We don't really need you. Let's go to Long Dock and just intercept some dudes here. Although, Florence is coming in. So, actually, we can't. Okay. So, we'll stick... Well, we'll just stay back. We'll wait until the siege is finished. We'll um, get these guys to move over to uh, this province that they are now sieging. And move in. And uh, they will get another tick until they... Uh, before they're uh, there. Yep, morale full. New troops. And that should probably do it. In the marshlands of Holland. Very good. And Paris has been sieged now. Very nice. Okay. So, let's move down in preparation for something here. Although I don't like the stack sizes here. They're simply too large for us to uh, be able to uh, capture Long Dock. Uh, especially looking at this, it seems to be a, sort of a route. 
that they're all taking. So they will be coming through there. So it's going to be dangerous territory for us. Okay. France moving in. An annoying ally to France, I have to say. Okay. This is good. And... I don't know, maybe move here and see if we can trap these guys. Okay, so Siege of Lothering is done. We'll just get all of you dudes back here. It's going to be a very big stack if they merge up. Actually, Florence is right there. Uh, in any case, Lorraine is now out of this war. Or at least we can get them out of this war. We could get them as a, uh, as a vassal as well. But I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Was Switzerland the uh, unlawful territory? I think it... Ah, of course it wasn't because we... No, I'm not sure. We actually can't take the entire country. We can't actually ask them to be our vassal. Okay, so how about we just take one province then? It's gonna give us... Oh, too much. Gross expansion. And the same goes for this. So let's not do that and let's just leave them be. Um, aside, of course, from giving us... Um, War operations and trade power and money. I think that makes sense. We might want to... No, let's not do that. We can't, but it's it's not really necessary. Uh, negotiating for themselves. Bam, there we go. Lots of money and lots of money over time, which will keep them very miserable. Okay, France moving in. Castile moving... Uh, no, Spain actually a losing a fight there. Let's see if we can do something interesting here. Actually, Spain won that fight. France is now moving back home. Okay, so let's see. What's going to happen if we do this? I think we might be able to take it. Got a good leader in Joshua. Right? 2-5. Shock. Yeah, he's alright. Um, not sure if Flanders will be able to help us, though. Uh, 29th of November, 2nd of December. Uh, so we are not going to be defending this. So I guess we'll wait. Ah, well, that helped. The rain is uh, actually not in this war anymore. Yeah, let's move in. We'll intercept Luca. And then we'll reinforce this. If we manage to make it in time. Yeah, actually, France was beaten again. So let's move into Long Dock now. I think that's going to be a good time for this. I know we are being attritioned quite badly, but... Eh. That's just going to be the way it is. Okay. Yes, very good. You, move in there. To intercept. No, stop it. Move back. Can we just please... We'll get one stack over there. We'll get a leader. Right. Can we get a leader? Yes. We'll get you. Okay. And this is going to be our defense against this stack. And from the other side... I think we'll just try and get them. It's not going to be... It's not going to be... No, it's not going to be fine. Okay, we got that province right now, so that's going to be most important for us. Paris as well might be a good target. I'm not sure if we can take it. We'll see. We'll start, by the way, improving relations with Switzerland. This is good, though. I think um, we now have our troops back together, sort of. Such anno So annoying that we can't move through there. Let's take a look at the war score, though. We've got the ticking war score, 2.4. It's going to give us uh, 22 more, even. Uh, what if we were to sue for peace right now and would take Long Dock? We would be able to take it, actually. Maybe Paris as well? Actually, yes. <sighs> Lorraine and France might join a coalition, though. As might uh, Alsace, Liège, and Cologne. I don't know. I'm not sure if I care. Hmm. Uh, tell you what. I think we'll put in a cut here. 
Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm not going to be recording another episode after this. Well, I, I am, but not straight away, I mean. So you will have time to uh, place your comments below. And I will be able to read them before recording the next uh, episode. Probably, probably. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's leave it at this. Doing very well, I think. In the next episode, we'll probably wrap this war up and um, and uh, just keep spreading ourselves through Europe. We're doing very well, I think. Right, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.